Hi, Winston Ruby. This is your dad here in Strathmore, Canada. Ready, May. Anyways, I'm uh, wanted to tell you something again. We talked at Christmas on Skype, and uh, I know there was a lot of uh, partying going on in the background with all your family on your mom's side. So uh, I wanted to settle it into you and let, have you hear it again um, about that knife your uncle Greg gave you for Christmas. And uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with that because uh, your dad grew up with knives and guns. And, uh, you know, it's just a matter of knowing how to properly handle them. So if you got to scratch your face, you make sure you set your knife down. Don't lift your knife up and scratch your face. You might poke yourself in the eye. But, uh, you know, I guess what I told you that night was two things. One is uh, if you're going to hand a knife to someone like your mom when you're done with it, or even your sister to try, um, you always hand it like this with the handle and the blade facing away from them so they don't get cut and they have something to grab onto and you can you can hold the blade towards you and hand them the butt end or sideways either or and secondly just never open the blade of the knife and I know you got a switch blade where uh, you press a button and the blade swings open and uh, you just Make sure you're doing that out in front of you, uh, away from people. You never want to pop that blade open near your sister or your mom or n near anyone's face, including your own. So be very careful with that. And then the third thing I wanted to add on that I didn't talk much about that night is kind of one of the things you can do with a knife, and it's a lot of enjoyment, is whittling a stick. And you can, you know, just for enjoyment, passing the time, some peace and quiet, go out and think your thoughts about stuff and, you know, kind of calm down and relax. You can do that. And you can sometimes make something, but this is actually a stick your dad got you in Banff two years ago when I got that rock for Ruby. And uh, this was broken and I was trying to regrow it and it didn't work. So I'm going to show you how to, I didn't give it to you. I was going to give it to you so you could plant it in your yard in California, but... Instead, I'm going to show you this video so you can learn something by it, this three-minute video. So, when you whittle, always push the knife away from you. Never pull it towards you, because if it slips, you could cut yourself. And you always push down in front of you and away. So, it's safe that way. You hold your thumb up on the top uh, of the handle on the bottom end of the blade for support, and you push away. And that's good and that's safety safe precaution and I guess you know in addition to that third thing you're probably going to do this on your front step and relax on a nice sunny day but uh, if you happen to be doing it inside because your mom wants you there just make sure you sweep up the bark and the pieces of wood chips off the floor when you're done you know when you put the knife away you always and yours is a switchblade, but the same thing applies. You just put, you make sure the knife goes down on the top part, the not sharp part, if you're touching it, and close it with your fingers away from the handle slot so it goes in. Nobody gets cut that way. Thank you very much, kids, and all your good kids. I love you both, Winston and Ruby. Now take care and have a good day. And we're going to be talking on Skype, I guess, this weekend for Easter. And uh, that's getting lined up right now by Uncle Rich. So take care, and I love you guys, and uh, have a good day.